We are learning more about the house where a teenage girl says several San Diego State football players raped her last year. Neighbors say the partying on the street is out of control. And as CBS 8's David Gofferson reports, cell phone video shows a history of students partying in the neighborhood. You can hear the party noise from out on the street. In this cell phone video recorded by a CBS 8 producer in August 2020, one year before this same off-campus house was the scene of an alleged rape by several San Diego State football players. At the time the video was shot, CBS 8 was documenting parties in the area because neighbors were complaining about San Diego State students out of control. This is what happens on every weekend in this neighborhood. A neighbor who spoke to us on the condition that she not be identified says she recorded this cell phone video last year, just down the street from the house on the exact same night the alleged rape took place, October 16th, 2021. There was a party behind us that was broken up by SDPD at about 10 p.m. and the students all walked around the corner over to here and there then became like a mob and they wouldn't leave. They were looking for something to do. The neighbor told me after police broke up the first party, students started walking down the street toward the house where the football players were partying. And in fact, the alleged rape victim confirmed to CBS 8 she had been drinking at a different party in the area before leaving that party and walking down the street to the house where the alleged assault took place. I arrived at the party. I had already been drinking with the friends that I arrived there with. I was already very intoxicated. The teenager or her friends are not seen in the video shot that night by the neighbor down the street, but the neighbor was heartbroken to hear the then 17-year-old girl may have been raped in a bedroom by several San Diego State students. I was absolutely sick to think I was standing out there when that was happening. I absolutely sicked my stomach. Just completely sad for that young woman. The house in question is owned by an LLC. We reached out to the owner but did not get a response. The neighbor says she has complained about the parties for years, but nothing changes. It's absolutely horrible. We hear girls constantly screaming for help. We need help out here. It, it's chaos. Now, the San Diego Police Department does have a program in place, a zero tolerance program called CAP, whereby properties that have underage drinking and wild parties can get red flagged and fined $1,000. I reached out to San Diego Police Department today and told, they told me that this house in particular has not been flagged under the CAP program. Now, David, you've been covering this for a while. What is happening with the investigation into the alleged rape itself? I'm sorry, I'm uh, having some problems hearing your question, but uh, uh, San Diego Police Department tells me uh, that the investigation is ongoing, but the case has not been turned over to the district attorney's office. Now, San Diego State is doing their own investigation aimed primarily at improving policies to keep their students safe.